Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Jamisha of Stylist Within Me and today I'm going to be giving you guys an update on this wig that I purchased from Sam's Beauty a while back. Um, if you haven't seen my video on me doing an initial review on this, I mean, on this wig, uh, I will link it up in the info card above and I will also link it down in the description bar. So please be sure to check those links out. Um, and before we get started in this video, could you guys please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos from me. 2019, I feel like this is the year that I'm going to freaking be consistent on YouTube. But anyway, to this video. So the updates that I recently done with this um, wig, I've, I can't remember how long I've had this wig. But it's been a while. And... If you know the Tiara wig, it actually comes maybe like I'm trying. I'm looking at my viewfinder and I'm looking at the lens. So if you see me looking off, that's what I'm doing. Um, so the wig kind of came like shoulder length to me. Um, so what I did, I just took that off, and the I felt so much better. You know how when you get a haircut, like I felt so much better cutting that hair off this wig because it just. I just felt all that hair just wasn't necessary at the time. And the most recent thing was that I discovered that I could really curl this. So I made Demo Me curling this. Um, okay, so I've cut this wig. I can curl this wig. This wig is my go-to wig because I, I kind of change out wigs during the week. So this wig is like my go-to um, one. So... You pretty much can catch me rocking this almost every other day. But anyway, yeah, this is it. And it has, it has movement. The thing about it, though, because it, it is synthetic. And so in order for it to have movement, because it's going to get stiff on you, you make sure you keep a brush, a wig brush. This is, this brush is like... It's a detangle brush and a smoothing brush all in one. I got this from Walmart. But I do have a wig brush. But I just use it because of this, the bristles. Um, so, yeah. Make sure you keep some type of brush with you or comb with you. But in order to keep it kind of smooth, I've noticed to make it have more movement. I can take my flat iron. My flat iron is not on. But you take your flat iron. And you chase it just like you would do with a comb, you know. You just you chase it like that, and that kind of smooths out those ends a little bit for you, and that kind of helps with the wig having more movement. I don't take the wig off to do it. I should because the back, the back in the nape area is like super horrible when it comes to getting matted and tangled. Um, but yeah, you guys, so I'm finna demo me curling this hair. Show. My, my mirror's right here. <laughs> so I'm gonna be looking kind of off the side, but I'm gonna be coming back and I'm gonna be talking to y'all like that. So let's unplug Alexa. I don't know if y'all might hear an echo because I'm in the bathroom recording. I don't know why I'm home alone, but I'm going to... Plug this baby up. And I have a different flat iron. I have a Paul Mitchell flat iron, but this is just the flat iron that I got from Cosmetology School. So I don't know if that might focus. So that's pivot point. I just got this from Cosmetology School. Um, so, and I also, I can't find the dang on baby hairs in here. I have to really shampoo this wig. I like it cut like this because it kind of gives me an innocent look. Mm. Do I look innocent? But when you flat iron it, don't have your flat irons up super high. Um, this one goes by odd numbers. So I have it on 15. Oh, won't focus. But I have it on I have it on 15 and I'm just Warming up. Does anybody else do that? Yeah. Don't do that. So let's get a piece and flat iron 
it. Well, curl it. Hmm. And in order to have a better framed face, in the front, curl the hair away from you. Like, curl it away. So, like, curl it back. And it doesn't take much. I'm just one of those people that like to make sure. Now I've been burnt my pants, y'all. And voila. You see that? Now I combed that away. Huh. For some reason, I can never do this side the same way I do this side. Because I'm, I'm right-handed. And the only time I'm ambidextrous is when I do my eyebrows. It's the only time. I'm going to get a piece from over here. And we're going to try and curl it. Could have just looked at the viewfinder and did this, but It's only like one piece curled. So if you want a little bit of pizzazz in your in your face, it'll curl. These curls do kind of last though. They might not last. I'm trying to see how long did I have them in to recurl them. Probably like the next day, just because. Um, so yeah. This video is going to be real short. And I just really wanted to just pop in and say Happy New Year to you guys. And that I'm trying to be more consistent. I'm going to be more consistent. I'm not going to say I'm trying. It's, it's 2019 is the year of do. So no more trying. We're just going to do. So I'll see you guys in my next video and don't forget to like this video, um, comment if you have this wig or if you're thinking about having this wig, it's under $30 and you can check out the Sam's Beauty website for more wigs, um, I know people have been buying it, well I've been watching YouTube video, people have been buying it from other websites so you might want to check out, compare prices, um, but I think they add more when you get color. So that'll be something to think about. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.